Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. Got a good question in here on the email from Vaughn. Uh, they're writing in to ask about what uh, photo editing software to use on a MacBook Pro. So they write in and said, I recently decided by a Nikon D3400. Congratulations, nice little camera. And I have a MacBook Pro 2016 version, so I feel it is perfect for me as a beginner anyway. The real issue I have to is to what is the best photo editor for me to install on my MacBook? If you can, what do you suggest is best for me to use? And as a beginner, what are some other tips you suggest for me to become an expert? It would be deeply appreciated. Thank you, uh, Trevon. So, uh, good question. Thanks for writing in. Um, on a MacBook Pro, to me, it's pretty much doesn't matter if you're using Mac or um, PC. I will go with Adobe stuff. I, I really like Adobe. I think Adobe Photo. I use Adobe Lightroom for almost everything for processing now. And then if I get into things I really want to tweak and mess around with, if I'm getting into finesse editing, then I'll pull them into, into Photoshop after that. Options, Photoshop uh, Elements is cheaper and you don't have to uh, buy into the monthly package. If you're a student or you teach, you can get the educational pricing. Um, other options is GIMP, which is a great, basically free Photoshop. It's very powerful, um, very well done system and uh, software. It's free. It's open source. Um, you can check it out. That's it. I'll put a link below. You can check it out. It's good software. A little different than Photoshop, but basically we'll do everything Photoshop does. Um, just maybe a slightly different learning curve on the way things are approached and whatnot. I think Photoshop's probably a little easier to get into, and you can slide into more and more knowledge as you grow. Um, you know, Scott Kelby's got some great books, some great learning stuff on his site. Uh, I'll put a link to a couple of his books I really like below. He's got some ones on Photoshop. He's got some ones on Lightroom that I've really enjoyed, and they tend to get updated with the newest releases. I would recommend having a look at Kelby's stuff. Um, and then there's just there's a lot of good stuff online you can check out for you know how to begin become an uh, um, expert. Uh, the big thing there is practice, just like anything else. It's, you know, the 10,000-hour rule. You want to be an expert, put in the time, right? So... Um, Get some good books, get some good tutorials, even online, and just practice and practice and practice. You know, I've been using Photoshop for years. I forget what version we were at back when I started Photoshop, and I, I'm not an expert. I'm pretty good at it. I wouldn't even call myself an expert, though. I've never bothered to get certified as an expert. I teach it for, like, Photoshop 101, 201 at the college. Um, so in that sense, I mean, I know it well enough to teach those, but I, I wouldn't say I'm an expert. I know certainly there's certified experts that could walk circles around me. Um, but yeah, that's what I would do. That's what I would recommend. What do you guys think? Is there something else you would look at um, beyond either Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, or GIMP? Um, there are some other editors out there. Those are probably my favorites, though. Um, I, again, I, I subscribe to the Adobe Suite because I use Premiere Pro for my video editing, and I like uh, both Photoshop and Lightroom. So right there makes it valuable to me. Um, as an instructor, I get uh, educational pricing, so I get an advantage there. If you're a student or, an, or a teacher yourself, you get the same thing. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Let's help out Vaughn. Thank you for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.